my skin. Open eyes. Have the gold on my forehead. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I went through a skin condition called topical steroid withdrawal last year and this is how I looked like. Um, I'm currently on a steroid-free medication called Dupixent and this is working really well. It's been three months since I last uploaded a YouTube video because um, I've been really busy with uni so I'm gonna do a little update and I do have videos that I haven't uploaded but I filmed back in May um, so that's straight after the second month of Dupix and video so it's like continued from there and then I stopped filming for like two months so May, June, July, August so I stopped filming for like four months because I was really busy not that I didn't have any time at all to do like filming and editing but I just didn't have the energy and the capacity um, to do it so apologies I didn't give you any notice beforehand but um, I'm back I don't know if I'll be consistent like before but I do want to keep my YouTube going. I realized that a lot of you have subscribed to my channel while I was away. So grateful for that. It really took me by surprise because I I was kind of like hesitant to open the YouTube um, studio app which shows you like the subscribers and the view hours um, for my channel and I just assumed that everything would be going like downhill so I was like looking away from it I just didn't want to face the reality that I wasn't being active on there but a couple of days ago I opened it and I was so surprised there was 200 new subscribers during the three months that I was away and I was like shook and um, like it genuinely makes me happy that my videos like my my journey like my TSW journey the my lowest point of life is helping you guys and yeah i just wanted to hop on that motivated me to make a new video so here i am um i'll pop in the videos that i filmed back in may after doing my makeup so stay tuned it's the break of dawn i'm not making sense talking to the world Hey guys, today is to pick scent day and my boyfriend's not here today and if you guys watched my previous do pick scent video I managed to do it myself um, the last time so I think I can do this but this time there's no backup plan so I'm just gonna do it <laughs> I'm gonna warm it up under my arm I'm sorry if I I woke up at 5 this morning because my boyfriend was leaving to Jervis Bay for work and I wanted to I wanted to wake up and say bye to him. So I put the numbing cream on and it's giving me a rash. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. Can you see the rash over here? It usually goes away like after a day or two but um, it doesn't hurt I've got this I've got this never think before I react no it's bad when I play it back play it back I'm sorry if I even after like two months of doing this
I'm sorry if I bore you. I'm sorry if I I did it. <sighs> okay, even after like two months of doing this, I get so nervous and my hands are so sweaty and I'm just so proud of myself. <sighs> I did it guys. By the way, I'm in my dad's room because I'm back in Sydney um, for a few weeks and my dad's away for like two months. He's gone to Japan, so I get this, I get his room and yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys next week for a skin update. Bye. Hello guys, today is skin update day. I just came back from brunch with my mom and I did a bit of makeup. I've been loving um, the mineral foundation from Mugo Makeup. I've been like playing around with makeup and seeing what works best with me and I found I tried um, liquid foundations but because I have really dry skin um, I thought the liquid foundations would be better than the like powdery ones but turns out that the mineral foundation which is like a powder for those of you who don't know and you just like put it on with a brush it melts into your skin and it gives you that airbrushed look so I'm really loving it and yeah it looks so natural because you because I literally only have a thin layer of the foundation and it looks so even, like the color evens out on your skin. So I just love it so much and I really recommend it for you guys as well. It's not an ad, by the way. Um, so yeah, and my skin's been doing great. And updates on my nip situation. They've been doing so well. I've been putting pseudo cream on every single day and the ooziness and the swelling has been going down. And some days they, they get a little bit swollen, but nothing dramatic. So yeah, pseudo cream worked wonders for me. And yeah, I think it's worth giving it a try if you're dealing with the same thing. Um, oh yeah, I've started going to the gym and oh my gosh, it's so refreshing and I've started drinking protein shakes um, after going to the gym and I used to drink plant-based ones back when I was dealing with TSW and I was working out at home and so I went to Coles after the gym and looked for plant-based protein powders and I found it, I bought it, I tried it at home and they Plant-based protein powders aren't the best, don't have the best flavors. It's like the ones that get it will get it, but it just has that weird taste to it. And you just gotta just chug it and not taste the flavor because it's not, not good. The next day when I went to the gym again, my sister takes the normal whey protein. And for those of you who don't know, whey is basically from cow's milk, so it's dairy. And I thought I'd give it a try because the plant-based one doesn't taste good, but I want to consume protein. So I gave the whey protein a try, thinking I'll be fine. So I took it and immediately after taking it, my throat was tingly and this that's what happens when I have cow's milk and I knew it but I just you know wasn't thinking too much and I had it and then as the protein went down into my my throat my stomach my digestive system it was affecting 
those areas kind of like I could feel that it was uncomfortable in my stomach after my throat stopped tingling because it went down to my stomach and then my skin started to react and I had like it blotches of allergic reaction and my allergic reactions look like mosquito bites so i'll put a picture up here but they they get so itchy i have them on my arms my chin my neck and some on my stomach and they look so itchy but i just had to you know sit with that for a while and then it went away after a few hours but i'm not gonna drink whey protein again that's my update my skin has been doing fantastic i can wear makeup now which is so fun and it's just that i'm just i feel so grateful to be living the days i used to dream of living and i think that's about it for now i'll see you guys next week see ya hello everyone today is do pixent day and I am about to do my injection. Okay, so let's do it. So about an hour ago, I put on my, I put on some numbing cream on. So I'm going to take that off first. I'm in month two on Dupixent, but I still get so nervous injecting myself. I've obviously gotten a lot better at it, um, but I don't have like a 30 minute mental breakdown before I get the injections anymore, but I'm still pretty nervous. Before I do the shot, I just wanted to show you guys this t-shirt. I made TSW merch to raise awareness of TSW and I donate a portion of the profits to ITZEN, which is an organization that helps spread awareness of TSW and supports people going through TSW. So I spent a lot of time designing it and can you see the flowers on the bodies? I used the flowers to represent TSW on the skin and I've got like five designs. So please go check it out if you're interested. The link's in the description and I'll show you guys. So I made t-shirts, I've got t-shirts, tote bags and mugs. So I'll show you those after I do the injection. So please hang around. Okay. I get super sweaty when I do the injection. Okay, let's get this over and done with. Oh gosh. I try not look at the needle as much as possible because I don't like looking at them. It freaks me out.
hands are super sweaty. So I've done two, two, four, six injections so far by myself and two at the dermatologist. So eight injections. Wow. I'm so proud of myself. And as I just mentioned, this is the tote bag and that's the t-shirt and this is one of the mugs. So I've got heaps of designs. I made sure that the tote bag was in good quality because I don't like those really thin tote bags that like break easily and just like low in quality. So I really made sure that my tote bag wasn't low quality and it's 100% cotton so as a t-shirt I made sure that it doesn't irritate the skin because I know how much it can be a trouble wearing a non-cotton t-shirt and this mug is microwave and dishwasher safe so I've got heaps of other designs so please check it out and by purchasing from the website you'll be supporting those who are suffering TSW even if you can just donate I've got an area where you can just donate instead of buying my product so if you're feeling generous you can just donate and help the TSW community and it ships worldwide so please go check it out I'll see you guys next week bye hello everyone so today is skin update day so today is Tuesday and usually Monday is a skin update day but I totally forgot to take one yesterday so here I am today um, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather I don't know if you can hear my voice but next week I'm going or this weekend I'm going back to Melbourne so hopefully I won't get sick um, anyways, last night I got like red patches on my face and my face was feeling, my whole face was feeling really hot and I didn't know why, I was trying to think of what I ate that may have triggered it but I just couldn't think of it and, and then I realised that I did try on some, a sunscreen and this whole time I was pretty hesitant to wear sunscreen because of how it might trigger my skin to flare but with makeup I was fine because I had tried it on and it didn't cause any flares so I was fine with the makeup but and it had SPF in the foundation so I didn't worry too much about wearing sunscreen but there was a reason why I tried um, using a sunscreen i'll get to that later but it was a sunscreen that my dermatologist recommended me and and it was the same sunscreen that i used to use before tsw so i was not worried too much about it so i went full on put a good amount on my face and my neck but my arms and legs were covered so i didn't bother putting it on there and then throughout the day it was fine but Towards the afternoon, I was getting a bit itchy, like on my, my cheek and just my chin area, my neck. And I, at the time, I didn't realize, but then later on, I realized it was a sunscreen because it was hot on my face and neck. And then this morning, I woke up and my skin was calmed down. So today, I and my sister has the same problem with um, a lot of the sunscreen, like chemical based sunscreen. So I asked her what sunscreen she was wearing and she said this brand called Naked Sundays. So I actually borrowed this this morning and I tried it on. I'll see how it goes throughout the day. At the moment, I don't, I don't feel any tingling or anything unusual. So, so far so good. When I wear makeup, I wear mineral foundation and I put that on this morning. I put the sunscreen on before the mineral foundation and then I put the foundation on top and it made my foundation go a bit blotchy so it's not the best combination but I'd rather have a little bit of a blotchy foundation and have my skin protected from the sun because I'm getting into the reason why I decided to use sunscreen again. Um, after TSW, I realized that my forehead, 
can you see it has wrinkles on my forehead and it was getting like really obvious and i think it's because i had a whole year of tsw and my skin was really stiff and i think and i couldn't wear sunscreen obviously because i just anything irritated my skin like even water irritated my skin during tsw so i couldn't put any product on my face and i was out and even at home there's sun coming in and um, uvs are very bad for your skin obviously um and it causes wrinkles so i think it was one because of because i couldn't use sunscreen for a year and two my skin was really really stiff that even if i moved my face a bit it would wrinkle up on my forehead and i had a whole year of that so i feel that that really contributed to my wrinkles on my forehead from now on i'm gonna be really careful and take care of my skin because my skin was under a lot of stress and inflammation last year so i gotta take extra care of it now so yeah i'm gonna keep using the sunscreen and maybe i'll go look for a serum maybe that can help with the wrinkles but please do let me know if you guys have the same problem so yeah that was my skin update for this week and next week Next Monday, I'll be in Melbourne, so I'll film the Dipic scent in my new room. Okay, bye guys. I'm moving into my uni's week. The first day off the orientation, the patches of redness, everything that I've ordered together is going to shower.